The following three examples you can work through on your own. What I want to indicate to you in example five is the purpose, the means of the financial asset is to generate steady cash flow. Now, when they indicate this to us, you can identify that the main purpose is to receive payments and interest. Therefore, our business model will be collecting contractual cash flows. Therefore, classification at amortized cost. And we need to measure the asset at amortized cost using our effective interest rate. In the next example, they indicate to us that the objective of generating a profit from short-term fluctuations in the market price of the bonds. Now guys, initially this might appear to be difficult to identify, but if you think about this, if you want to recognize profits on fluctuations in market prices, do you agree with me that the purpose will be to sell? Therefore, this will fall within our classification of a financial asset at fair value through OCI and the fair value gain or loss shall be recognized in our OCI. Example 7, you will have to calculate the effective interest rate. What I want to indicate to you is that they provide us with transaction cost of 500 Rand. Now, this is a financial asset at amortized cost. Therefore, financial assets at amortized cost, you have to include your transaction costs. In their calculation of the effective interest rate, our interest rate change, guys, due to the fact that we have added this 500 Rand. Therefore, you need to be able to identify that you need to add your transaction cost to be able to calculate your effective interest rate. 